Good morning, traders. It's Thursday, May the 4th. Taking a look at the charts, we got the SP500 uh, 30 minute chart here. This is what uh, the left chart is. The bars are green because we are in a uptrend. And we've had these hash marks we talked about yesterday. There's a hash mark here and there's a hash mark here. And those are the short term overbought, oversold conditions. And yesterday you can see the market dipped down, got short term oversold, and then rallied back up. And this morning we're seeing the equities market trade higher by three, one third of a percent. And we're trading right up here at around the 2390. So more or less you can see this kind of oversold, overbought, oversold market condition here and how it's kind of been ping ponging around with the, that would be like very short term kind of momentum swings. Now, overall, we're trading up here. We're, so we're going to gap up into short term overbought territory. Question is, is this uh, the start of a, a breakout? You can see on the right hand chart, the SPY, we've had a strong move up. It's been flagging in a tight pattern here. And if it does break and run, we're going to see a fairly significant run to the upside going forward. Now, if we take a look at the leading indicators, let's just jump over here to uh, the Russell 2000. Now, the Russell 2000 has pulled back and filled both gap windows now, which we talked about right over here when we started to see uh, the market kind of stall out. We talked about how there's two gap windows, more or less a gap window here that needed to be filled and potentially another gap window right in there, which needed to be filled. And yesterday, the market uh, uh, gapped down and sold all the way down, more or less filled that, that gap window. So it came down, a little consolidation, had the second half of that move to the downside. And overall, this is a fairly bullish price pattern we've had a strong move up it's had a nice little three wave correction filling both these price gaps and the Russell 2000 tends to lead the market so it looks as though we are getting close to a potential reversal and pop uh, which is already happening in pre-market and you can see here the market down here short term cycle and our momentum cycle which uh, is is currently oversold indicating we should see a pop and this little this kind of greeny blue line here is the momentum just like we saw on the um, the overbought oversold so it's telling us that we were more or less oversold yesterday and uh, this sector here could uh, or this group of stocks the small cap stocks could be on their way to start another rally higher now if we take a look at the transportation index which is a leading indicator it has come down and it's filled its price gap it, it only had one price gap over here, which ended up getting filled fairly soon, uh, right after it kind of popped up. And we've had a nice pullback in price down to this 20 day moving average, which happens to be right through this consolidation of all this noise over here. And it's consolidated, had a nice pop there a couple days ago, and it's just taking a little breather yesterday. If this continues to play out, then we're going to see it run probably up to the 172 mark and uh, bring us right up into these previous highs over here, which will act as resistance. So it looks as though the market's trying to make a run, and it's kind of somewhat flushed itself out with a little bit of a consolidation over the past uh, week or so, and with the market being a little bit oversold uh, yesterday, as shown on the uh, previous SP500 30-minute chart. Now, obviously, if money is rotating into stocks, we're seeing it move out of the safe havens. Taking a look at bonds, bonds are moving down. This is bonds futures daily chart. Bonds are moving down this morning. Gold is down 1.15, uh, 1.1% uh, uh, this morning. Continuing to pick up speed and kind of breaking below this pivot low over here. And we're seeing some pretty good uh, volume start to pick up there. If we look at silver, down four tenths of a percent, continues to unwind and get even more oversold. And gold miners this morning, they uh, are set to gap lower as well. They had a pop there yesterday, which uh, was a little bit of an oversold kind of pop and squeeze. And then, of course, we saw it sell back down. Now, overall, we saw the U.S. dollar yesterday have a pretty good pop. Uh, in price. Nothing significant, but it looks as though it's very close to potentially having a fairly strong rally. And obviously a strong dollar is bearish for precious metals. Now, if we look at the, the big picture here, the weekly chart really cleans it up a little bit here. Let's just go to the weekly chart. If we take a look at this uh, US dollar index. This is the weekly chart. And of course, we've had a very strong massive move here uh, again this is going back to 2014 we've had a long bull flag formation and uh, we've seen price now start to move up it's got another 
smaller bull flag formation forming up near these highs and it kind of broke to new highs here if this continue if this starts to break out we're going to see a significant run in the US dollar index and see uh, uh, that could put a, quite a bit of pressure on uh, commodities especially precious metals over the next uh, several uh, months if this does start to run and, and move higher obviously these are the weekly charts so every four bars here is a month so you're looking at potentially several months depending how quick things can rise uh, of, of uh, kind of weak times for precious metals and commodities commodities across the board now looking at crude oil crude oil is pulling back obviously it had a big bear market it's trying to build a base here and it is pretty much stuck in depending where you want to draw it we've got high volume levels across here so this is kind of the, the critical the main basing formation that it's trying to break out of and if we zoom in on the chart you can see we're testing some pretty critical uh, levels here we've got um, some support trend lines is testing this lower trend line if it breaks we could see a breakdown all the way down to the uh, 43 area and potentially un unwind all the way down to around the 39 and change uh, so there is potential for it to really kind of flush out here at this point it's trading at a support trend line the trend remains up and the market is somewhat oversold on the weekly chart so um, if, if it breaks it's going to get real ugly and we're going to see a big slide but if it does find it should find support at this point it's still bullish and we'd be looking for some type of uh, bounce and move back up at this point but again on a, on a closing basis on a weekly closing below this trend line things could get ugly and we could see it sell off for several weeks uh, to the downside taking a quick look at the VIX we got some pretty interesting uh, price action taking place on the VIX uh, which is, uh, you know, I've been talking about how the equities market could top out in the second half of 2017. Obviously, the Trump kind of, uh, kind of more or less, pardon the pun, Trump the market, and we saw a big squeeze higher. But how everything usually runs out of steam after something like that, and how the markets have been due for a major bear market to take place. And not saying it's going to happen right away, but uh, there's potential for a big rollover in top in the later 2017 and look at the VIX the VIX has sold off it dropped all the way down into the nines and I drew a line here down near the lows of where it tagged uh, in the last couple trading sessions and if we go to the monthly chart to see where that is here's the monthly chart and the last time the VIX hit this level of confidence and display uh, you know people not expecting anything bad to happen in the market was in 2006 um, the last month in 2006 so overall uh, you know what happened from there we saw the bear market take place and a huge financial crash so pretty interesting that that kind of price action is timing out really um, things could get pretty ugly in the X in the uh, stock market in the second half of 2017 here I think we got another month or two of higher prices and we could see 2500 hit on the SPY on the or the SP500 index but I think that could be like the final kind of squeeze the, the sucker move that pulls everybody in and the market kind of lo will look more or less parabolic going up here if we take a look at that index obviously going all the way up to 25 if we just draw a line there you can see where that is 25 where is that that uh, right up there so just looking at this chart if we get one final pop and squeeze it's going to go right up here to around that level and just looking at the chart that is we've got a tiny little con running consolidation here a little two-month pause you get this this kind of initial kind of pop up in price consolidation and that second pop up that could be the final big squeeze in the market before we start to see some type of big uh, topping phase take place and then start to see it break down and we could see a huge bear market take place going forward so that's what the VIX is kind of pointing to it falls in line with the analysis that we've been talking about for the last several months uh, once Trump got in we we're looking at the second half of 2017 for a potential blow off top and then major major topping formation to take place and that would coincide well with precious metals putting in their bottom and precious metals starting to rocket higher as the overall equities market starts to crumble. Anyways, that's it for this morning. Talk to you in a little bit.